Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. Now, we're going to continue our discussion of gender from the last video, but we're going to discuss some of the laws that are going around right now. And it's not just Texas, it's not just Florida, but we'll discuss those a little bit too. But there are several states doing things right now that are blatant attacks on trans youth. Of course, Texas just recently labeled parents of trans kids that are giving their kids, um, and you know, affir you know gender affirming care, um, even puberty blockers, but at all, as child abusers, and that those kids should be taken from their parents, and the parents should be imprisoned. Now, the thing is, there's another. There are other bills like this coming going through too, but not just in Nazi land known as Texas. No, in Alabama, just a few hours ago, um, it was reported that there is a there is a anti transgender youth care bill being pushed. Same thing as what was just pat done in Texas. In Tennessee, a similar bills being passed. I believe Utah is doing the same thing. And down in Florida, of course, Florida has the "Don't Say Gay" bill. Which initially, the Florida bill initially started out as a bill to out um, trans and other LGBTQ um, youth to their parents. Like kids that hadn't come out to their parents yet. The schools were going to be required to call parents and tell them that their kid was gay. So much for the, you know, confidentiality there, right? Mm-hmm. Like, because they was even going to require school counselors to contact parents if their child had confided in them that they were gay. Or trans, bisexual, lesbian, whatever. And then, several states are still up in arms about banning trans youth from sports. Alabama has been has been working on that. I think they've already actually passed that in Alabama. Texas doesn't allow kids to participate in sports unless they're on the team of the sex assigned to them at birth. In Tennessee, of course, like I said, they are doing the same thing as Texas by trying to make it a crime for parents to provide affirming care to their children. And it's never ending. There is at least 39 bills from what I've been told going around. These are just the states that I can think of off the top of my head at the moment. If you'd like a more comprehensive list, I will make another video maybe next week talking about that. But what are these bills doing? What are they really doing? They're harming children. That's all they're doing. They're not doing anything beneficial to anybody. Because trans kids aren't hurting anybody. Their parents being gender affirming to them and providing them with say puberty blockers and things like that. That's not harming anybody. That's not harming you. That's not harming your child. And it's not harming theirs either. Puberty blockers are completely reversible. The reason you use the one reason for them is so they don't go through a puberty that they don't that they don't you know identify with. And they don't want to go through that. For some of them it could be it could drive them to suicide. Because they start seeing things that that they don't identify as. So you prevent the puberty from happening. So they can work through whatever they have to work through. To, so later on, they can decide whether or not, you know, that the feelings they had, that the way they identified when they were younger, are still the ideas that they identify later in life that they you know identify as when they become say a, a teenager 
it's not like they take puberty blockers and then all of a sudden they have a sex change. That's just not how it works. In most cases, you know, people don't even have sex changes until they're, you know, at least, you know, like 18, depending on the state. Some states have different laws, I believe. But to block these things, just because someone is transgender, it shows a lack of compassion, a lack of caring, and lack of empathy. It shows a lack of understanding basic, the, you know, basic science. It, it, it misses the point of being a parent. If your child is transgender, you, you're, you're going to do, and you're supportive, you're going to do everything to make sure that they're still here. That they're emotionally and mentally able to deal with life. You have transgender youth across this nation taking their lives because they can't just be themselves. They'd rather be dead than here dealing with this. In Texas right now, you have parents trying to flee. Soon to happen in Alabama. You've got I saw an article just this morning stating that there's a family in Utah who's who was talking to the media saying that they are leaving Utah because of the laws they're passing against trans youth. I know a family in Texas that's trying desperately to find a way to get out if they ever start coming for them. Now, for those people that are in Texas, Florida, Tennessee, Alabama, or any of the other places that are trying to label parents um, of trans kids, child abusers, for providing affirming care. Find a way to get a lawyer. If you're not willing, if you if you either aren't willing to or can't afford to move out of your state, I saw that you uh, there are a number of places you can call to maybe they can um, locate low cost, you know, legal counsel, um, or even you know no cost depending, you know, call you know if you're in Texas. You know, you got Equality Texas. Uh, you probably have equality um, organizations in your states, in the other states too. Contact them. Maybe they can help. If they can't help, call the, you know, get in contact with the ACLU. But whatever you do, protect your children. Don't let them be stolen by corrupt government that doesn't care about their existence, that doesn't care if they live or die. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you down the road.